I know I have told you people time and time again that people are after Brianna and I. The state of Vermont, police politicians, our old landlord, Michael Hatton from Newport. We were living in Island Pond at 109 Railroad Street, a.k.a. the Beehive. We had the third floor apartments, myself and number seven, Brianna and number eight. Michael Hatton came to me April 1st, 2021 and told me he didn't want my rent money. He needed for me to take my daughter in the middle of the night and leave. He told me he didn't know why these people were after us, how they could even know us to be after us. But let me tell you something. This was October 18th, 2022. That's right. Yesterday, Brianna was on her way to court. Go figure, right? And so I just happened to be on the phone with the Caledonia Record newspaper, Dana Wellington, when all of this car fire started. I had previously been on the phone with Angel. I asked her for the WebEx number so I could call in as I'm Brianna's witness to her situations. And I asked where the witness list was. I also asked Angel, who's going to set the fire at the Guildhall Courthouse today, Angel, like you did in April 2018? You, Vince Naluzzi, or one of your friends? Well, instead of burning the Guildhall Courthouse in lieu of trying to get rid of all of our documents, records, and evidence, against Vince Naluzzi, the malicious fucking prosecutor out of Essex County, Guildhall, Vermont. This is what happened. Now, let me tell you something. This is Brianna's car. She was on her way to court. She got to Holland. This is a repeat of fucking history. Look at this poor girl, okay? She's a fucking survivor. All you bitches out here want to complain and cry about what you've been through? Well, we're still going through it. Last year, during this time, Brianna was missing and her fucking daddy dearest while well, he was too busy with donna davis getting fucking married while brianna was being what abused beaten and tortured at the hands of police and politicians no doubt with that being said we want some fucking answers so why isn't vermont state police on this well i called there yesterday and i asked them what the case number was they said they don't have one the only ones that have a case number our Holland Fire Department. Why is that, Vermont State Police? Is it because you're involved, Vince Naluzzi? Why is it that these fucking sociopaths are in office? It's time that everybody in the state of Vermont and the surrounding areas know what's been happening to my daughter. She lives in Derby Line, Vermont. I want you all to reach out to on social media, Breezy G Faith. Go to her home in Derby Line, Vermont. Ask for Brianna at 54 Duchesne Road or Duchesne Drive, and ask for Brianna and make sure she's okay. Why don't you start asking the police and the politicians in the state of Vermont why this happened to my daughter? Vincent Aluzzi is obviously a fucking sociopath. So is Jeffrey Noyce. So is Trevor Colby. All of them. All of them involved. And this happened in Holland. Does that mean that Mark Newell? Huh? Are you involved again, Mark Newell? Well, we certainly do know that Vermont State Police are. How about that? Because they have not even had the audacity, the fucking balls, or morality to contact and make a case. Isn't that right, Birmingham? Yeah, that's what I thought. You all need to know, this car fire was no coincidence. I drove this car over the weekend. I know that it was driving fine. But I also know that it previously had been drained of oil. Isn't that right, whoever's fucking with Brianna? So this shit really needs to stop, don't you think?